Hello everybody, my name is Random Jen and welcome back to my series on Okra Homefelt. This is the second episode and we were about to pick up where we left off on field 33 by baling the straw but um, the straw from our contract is all gone. I think when we delivered all of the oats I think the straw was removed from the field um, yeah so we have a nice little baler that we've rented for the day <laughs> but we have nothing to pick up with it so uh, why don't we see if there's another contract that we can use this little guy for and I also think what I'm going to do is uh, remove remove this contract mod because I don't like the way it changes things I wanted to have access to that straw you know what I mean I don't know maybe I just need to do better it looks like there's nothing unless we um, we take harvesting on field 8 and then uh, we could bale the straw from that wheat. All right, let's see. Where is field eight? Field eight is here. Okay, let's let's be brave. <laughs> I um, I feel slightly nervous about doing anything that involves driving a harvester around this map but I feel like it can't go as badly for me this time as it did last time oh I would really like to pick up this that talks to me field 42 how big is field 42 oh well, let's see that's 41 um oh 42 is absolutely enormous it's like a quarter of the entire map we would be here for days doing that what equipment do they give us wow and it would cost us 3700 euro for rental and then we'd still have to fill that bad boy up that's 10,000 liters. Woo! I think we'll stick to the harvesting. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Let's harvest. Um, and then we'll take the straw off. We've already got the baler ready to go. So we will borrow those items. And um, let's find a way back. field eight buy some flowers we're going to pick up all of that borrowed equipment and hopefully oh you know what we, what we should actually just do um, is we should uh, wait a second that that other contract that we had done that oat contract when I exited cleared so we've lost that progress uh, I'm gonna add that entire thing in I'll look at it on the okay crisis averted I quickly went back looked at the end of my video and um, the payment on that contract after the 
rental fees was 8,940 euros. Then the extra oats that we'd sold was 3,247 liters of oats at 1,423 euros per liter. Um, the total amount that I'm going to pay myself for completing that contract and selling the extra oats is 13,567 euros. I'm going to leave the cents because 48 cents, I mean, whatever. <laughs> All right. Considering the size of the field that we harvested, field 33 is a big boy is a chungus and we did it it took us a long time you guys are welcome to go back if you haven't already seen it episode one it's all there we worked our butts off it took an hour to do um that is money well earned i don't feel any qualms about paying us for that work done um, and then I think I'm a little bit disappointed about that mod because I really like the way it reorganizes the page and lets you refresh it and everything. But the fact that it like forgets contracts when I turn off my game kind of sucks. Um, we'll see if if it becomes a problem, I may just have to remove it. Unfortunately, I don't always get to just sit and play for as many hours as I would like, you know? Life sometimes steps in and smacks me about a little bit. Anyway, let us motor our little butts down to field number eight. Ooh, let's try not to go left. I really must pick up my, I mean, dig my steering wheel out. Oops. Okay, I want to just look at the map again. Refresh where I thought I was going. Yeah, so left and right, and then it's like down here. Oh, look at this beautiful field. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Almost clipped that one. Field 31. If we were field flipping, we could buy this, harvest it, and then sell the field again. <laughs> Take the grain off. But we're not doing that. Not this time. Right, here's field eight. This is the one we are going to be harvesting today. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll just park up in the shade so the cab doesn't get too hot. Can we open anything? No, no openable doors. And let's pop over to oh, a nice little John Deere. What is this? T56 or oh, 560. While that engine warms up, we will
Move these. Mm, do you think we'll be able to? Yeah, it's not too big. I'm sure we got the maneuverability here. Let's see. Try and line this up nicely with the middle. And then it should clip when you, when you disengage. Oh no! Yes! <laughs> that is one of my favorite improvements of FS22 over the earlier farming simulators. Is that little automatic clip on the header. It's so nice. Oh, one nice thing about this harvesters doesn't have the big wire butt like the faint had <laughs> oh, those wires drove me mad <sighs> oh um okay you can do this I promise I have done I have driven a harvester before once or twice in my 4,000 hours of farming simulator. <laughs> oh. There you go. Oh no, I forgot about that little uh, trailer there. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah, I'm underestimating the the turning circle on this guy. That's what I'm doing wrong here. I need to zoom out so I can see the whole thing. There you go. That's better. All right. There you go. Are we going to try follow me again? We can. But maybe just set up a longer follow distance. I think the big mistake I made last week was my follow distance was too short. And that's why that truck rammed me right in the beginning. Because I'm not used to these like long trailers. <laughs> <laughs> on these tight corners you know all right let's grab this guy this is cute man kubota i've got the kubota dlc that's why it's here obviously duh m6101 i've hardly played with it though i normally get into the the masses and the fence and the class i love the class tractors i don't know why i think it's just the way they look um all right let's see now i want to okay we're just gonna trust you not to ram us okay okay looks like he's gonna be a cool guy gonna give us our space oh no I'm looking at the mini map while driving again that is not a good idea just trying to plan my route because I have to go through this part of town but look how sharp this corner is 
Okay, let's plan here. We're here. Okay, we can go straight around and then we'll take this little right. Okay. Excuse me, can I exit? Apparently not. Apparently my escape key is not going to work with me today. I need to open it up and see why. Okay, play nice traffic. Ooh, got a little bit of frame drop there. Sorry, fellas. Sorry, guys. And girls. All right. Take it nice and easy. Trying not to drag us through all of the trees. Oops. My peripherals seem to have stopped working. That's not a good thing. Okay. Uh, oh no, Q works. Okay, so that's still there. E does not work. Cursed. I'm cursed. I'll save. Alright, and we're underway. One thing I love about doing contracts is to get to really experience the map. It's a really nice way to get started early on on a new map. Um, oops. Oh, these rocks are really close. <laughs> you also get to use a lot of uh, equipment that you wouldn't normally use. We all have our favorites. You know, the things that we like to, to get whenever we play. So... Especially when you borrow equipment when you're doing missions, it's really nice because it gives you an opportunity to try stuff that you wouldn't normally use. Anyway, let's get this mission under our belts.
Okay, we've got this off to a good start. I think what we'll do now is put it on a worker. Oh, of course, he's going to change angle ever so slightly and mess up my straight lines. But that's okay. They do things by their own book, I guess. <laughs> um, and what we'll do is we will grab our little tractor with the baler on it and we will start baling up some of the straw. We don't have to um, we don't have to get too many bells to make back what we spent for this baler because we only rented it it was a couple of hundred pounds i mean euros sorry so it won't be much to recoup that recoup that and then we're off right, this is a very nice little mod it's got a nice white pickup not leaving behind little patches like the Galignari one I was using on my long plays series seem to leave little patches everywhere this is doing a great job very nice And the new Holland is handling it beautifully. We'll see if we have any issues on the uphills, but for now, seems the power is not a problem. And 100%, that's our first bale. And we have automatic unloading. Beautiful. taking this off to the wheat and seed factory which is really close luckily just over the road very nice easy transport mission <laughs> mm, looks like um, looks like we'll have about three loads to to drive across I think that's 45% transported so it looks like we're going to have another nice little overflow here maybe as much as a full trailer load of extra oat oh sorry wheat full trailer load of extra wheat and let's go back to the field and get that harvested
we'll park the tractor over here go and grab our little drop nose and carry on making bales until that harvester is full again
And there you go, all of the wheat is off the field. What we're going to do is we're going to just keep it over here in this trailer for a little while until we've finished bringing the straw in. Um, because we don't want to accidentally uh, lose all the straw like we did on field 33 earlier. I'd like to collect it all. If we're lucky, we might actually be able to um, to get that farm yard today latest in the next episode. That would be amazing. I would love that. What I think I'm going to do is just park this over here. Keep it out the way. And I want to take this trailer, this header trailer out the way as well. Because I keep running into it. <laughs> I left it in the worst possible place. There you go. Alright. Out the way. Beautiful. Now, we'll leave that there for now. Alright. We'll finish this off. There's going to be a lot of hay bales coming off of this, I mean straw bales coming off of this field today. This should make us a good little packet of money. Here we go, pulling left again. Alright, I think we'll pop this into a time lapse and get the rest of the straw bailed up. See you guys in a few minutes.
Oh no. We picked up everything. Oh wait, there's a little bit more. <laughs> We're on 98%. Oh goodness, let's see if there's any scraps we missed. Oh man, that would suck to get so close to a full bale. In a baler that we've rented as well because we, we can't just keep it and like wait for the next harvest. <sighs> wow, we've almost emptied our fuel tank. Uh, nothing here. Sometimes there's a little bit around the corners where I turn the harvester. This baler has been so efficient at picking up the swaths though that they aren't like the normal bits and bobs that get left behind on the rows. Let's see. Come on, I just need like... Oh, I actually need almost 120 liters. Mm. I don't know if I'm going to get that just like here. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Gobble. <laughs> no. I'm being incredibly lucky if I can make this. Damn, so close to a full bale. Ah, it's only about 600 euros worth of straw. I mean, that would pay for the baler on its own. But I guess. We don't think of it as a opportunity lost, right? We can just think of it as, I guess, just something that we didn't manage this time around. All right. Now that is taken care of, we can go and get something to pick all of the bales up with. Um, I have turned the speed down because I believe that if we hit the end of the day our contract will automatically roll over and if we haven't finished the contract by then we fail it and we'll also lose our bales um, and I don't want to do that. I'm not sure exactly how finicky this mod is but I don't want to lose stuff so let's Let's just turn down the game speed. Rather safe than sorry. Oh, this is so pretty. Very tempted to get an auto loader. We'll see if there's something that takes 150 centimeter round bales. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Oh. The crossing. <laughs> we made it. I feel like Frogger, you know, in that, that old game, Frogger, where you had to try and cross the river and the road and stuff. <laughs> All right. Now, that little wagon isn't going to do anything for us with the sheer number of straw bales that we have. Oh, that would have been amazing. Look at this little cute thing. Aww, it's adorable. <laughs> okay, focus. Hmm, it also needs to be able to drive through these roads. Alright, so I'm not seeing... Does this guy have an auto load? No. Oh, but also look how long it is. It's, it's nice though, but... Oof. I don't, I don't like dolly trailers, although I have got a mod that would allow that, us to lock that in place, so it wouldn't be an issue. What about a nice little Marshall trailer? I 
That'll take a lot of bales. We can lease it. 579. Done. All right, now we need to get a front loader and a rear weight. Does this guy have the attacher? Um, I don't believe so. Okay. So, first things first. I know the trigger is here somewhere. Here you go. <laughs> I made it. Alright, we want the front loader attacher. I'll take the quickie. Mm. Oh, yes. <laughs> quickie it is then. What's that for? A thousand. A thousand is fine. It's very useful. And I. I'm very tempted to just buy this um, upgrade. Um. Right, where do we get fuel? I think that's something else we must consider because um, if I look at that fuel gauge, we're down to what, 40%? Although, I don't think that collecting bales is going to be nearly as heavy on the tank as, um, as making the bales was. So, I think we'll be okay. Alright. loader and then we want the quickie we'll just lease I know it's doesn't make sense for something we're going to use as often as this but at that price seven and a half thousand pounds we really don't have a choice at this point And then a nice little fork. Um, maybe there's something that can pick up multiple round bales. Let's see. I've got lots and lots of mods for handling bales. See, I mean, this is great, but this is for square bales. Squares as well. And also, like, super huge. Like, our little, our little tractor can't even counterbalance something that big. <laughs> Let alone actually control it and, and try and lift that many bales. Alright, so... Um, all right, I quite like that. And yeah, we'll lease back, and then we want to get a weight because we're going to need to counterbalance. We'll take the Agco 650. And let's buy that. All right. Here we go. I wonder if we can attach the trailer directly to the weight. Let's try it. Um, that way I don't have to swap out once we are on the field. Just save me a little bit of work. Let's see if we get the notice. I'll only do it once the... Oh, I don't think it'll work. That's a ball hitch. Uh, 
yeah it's gonna make everything go all haywire okay so we'll just do that for now I'll pick up the front loader and then I'll just hold it up above the weight and we'll swap them over when we get to the field oh no I can't all right someone at the f at the shop will will just uh, put it on the trailer for us no biggie I'm sure they've got the right equipment for moving that kind of thing around and they can just load it onto the bale trailer for us <laughs> I like the size of this bale trailer that's what I'm talking about Yeah, I see that wouldn't have fit on with the weight. I hope that stays put. Now yeah, we're ready to go. This little tractor is going to be earning its keep today. All right, we're not going to be driving out onto the main road with that spike pointing out. So we will point it down and hope for the best. And our little New Holland. Oh, this is such a beautiful little tractor. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry. I'll get my driver's license eventually. Today is not that day. <laughs> ah! Collision avoided. For now. <laughs> uh. Alright, so we have harvested. We've hauled. We've bailed. Now we're going to pick up these bales. Um, I'm tempted to hold on to the straw until the price is at its best. But at the same time, if we just sell it, we'll push our balance quite nice and high. Oh no, there's no sell point. Okay, let's see what this tells us straw no selling point all right i mean if we're going to be playing on this map we need a, a bail sell point that is uh, non-negotiable i play a lot of bailing i do a lot of bailing i bail hay i bail straw i bail silage Maybe that's why I'm not getting any mowing contracts as well. Because there's no way to sell it. Hmm. But there is a... Um, uh, there's a biogas. So that shouldn't... I mean, that should take it, right? I don't know. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We may need to just write to the mod, the map maker, and say, hey guy, you need to put a, a straw cell point. Seriously, my dude, what the actual what? How do you not have a point to sell straw on your map? Okay, pretend this isn't happening. Just pop it right over there. Alright, let's get these bales loaded. I 
I don't normally use a single spike. So let's see how this goes. Ah, very neat. I like. Ooh. Doesn't really hold on though, does it? Almost came off there. Anyway. There you go. Um, I'm not pedantic. I'm just <laughs> I'm just specific, right? Uh, I like things lined up. I find if you start straight, it makes it a lot easier to keep it going nice and neat the whole way. Once I let one go all skewed, then the whole thing gets messed up. So I'll. Go. Beautiful. I upgraded my graphics drivers. Um, I want to say this morning. I can't remember if it was yesterday or well, last night or this morning. Um, but like I'm noticing some odd shadows and stuff. So overall, though, it doesn't seem too bad. It's playing quite nicely with relight as well. Like the tractor looks pretty good. I love this little drop nose. It's so cute. <laughs> I got Farming Simulator 20, uh, I can't remember which year it was, I want to say 2013. And I got it because my toddler at the time was crazy about tractors and it was on special on Steam. And he was like two years old and he was just nuts about tractors and he wanted to he wanted to drive a real life tractor, but we live in, well, at the time we lived in the suburbs and there was no way, <laughs> like he couldn't drive a real tractor. Um, so I got farming simulator for him, thinking that would be a fine way for him to, to play tractors, right? And he loved it. Um, but I loved it even more <laughs> and, and then I got 15 and 17 and 19 and 22 and all for myself. Maybe I think 15 was the first one I got. Yeah. I can't remember exactly. And I've, I've been completely hooked ever since. And it took me a while to learn how to turn a profit. It's not easy. But I think the trick is to to do contracts in in 22 especially. You need contracts. If you're not playing with a big starting uh, 
starting packet and also just expand slowly don't expand too fast because unless you're really experienced you don't know all of the different equipment that you're going to need at all of the different stages um, and that used to catch me out and then I'd have to take a loan because actually I need a sprayer or something like that and you know it helps to just go slowly do lots of contracts and the nice thing about contracts as well is it helps you learn the, the phases of the game if that makes sense um, like going from plowing to cultivating, planting, fertilizing, all of those different phases of the arable side of the game at least. almost lost my bale there. This single bale fork is very slippery. I must say, the double one at least, the bale stays on a lot better. With this it seems to want to slide off a lot. Okay, how far are we now? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll use the uh, rented tractor on a borrowed tractor and we'll move the bale trailer over here it's not exactly level but I think it'll be okay as long as I strap the bales down quickly it should be fine all right let's see this one here is furthest away I think Let's grab it, get it on the trailer. I'm gonna come around to the other side because there's a lot of bales on the left there. So if we stack from this side, then at least we don't have to go so far to stack those ones. If that makes sense. Oh, oh no. That is not good placement there. Lifted the whole front of the tractor off the ground. Uh, let's try that again. I think I'm too close to the bales that are already on the trailer. There you go. We can just use this Kubota to transport the bales, I think. Gosh, it's getting dark. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get all of these bales off the field before the sun sets. We might not. In that case, we'll just do as many as we can. We'll make a profit, even if we don't get all of them. Alright, before it gets too dark, uh, let's have a look at the map. And let's decide where we want to put a straw cell point. Where can we buy animals? A gravis fine handle? What's that? That sounds like a animal place. Yeah, livestock market. That sounds like exactly the place you want to sell. Um, straw to, right? So let's go over here. And let's put in a selling point for okay so this is a mobile bail selling point we could basically put it anywhere we want and move it around but that's a little bit OP if you ask me 
but we could just put it here and then leave it here it's quite compact which is really nice we can just pop it over here and then we can drive in and sell our bales at this bale spot there you go that's our bale sell point okay so now if we look at the sale price for straw there you go oh so it's currently at a terrible price but we could still make 11,000 euros off of it so and I believe that's only what's on the trailer oh no that's everything okay so we need to like pick up all of the bales to make 11,000 that's a lot but it looks like now that we've bailed them they're counted as ours so we could just get as many on let's say we go until 6 p.m with this i see i don't want the sun to set and then i'm doing this in the dark so okay i'll stop talking and we'll get as many loaded as we can i could just do them by hand it is a lot quicker but that's a little bit cheaty I'm not entirely convinced that you'd be able to pick up a bale of straw this big by hand in real life. Like, that's a big, big bale. Right? Alright, nice. I can already feel like I want to um, make my seasons longer. We haven't even finished the first season yet. It's because we've been playing on much slower days just to finish these two contracts you guys don't mind right as long as the farming is good no one's gonna hold it against me i'll skip through the worst part of winter just for you guys how's that <laughs> especially this year when we don't have animals next year we'll have cows and we'll have to feed them and stuff. We'll still skip winter. I can feed them off screen. I want to make you guys suffer through that. <laughs> winter is so boring in farms. Oh my goodness. There's nothing to do. Feed your animals. Oh, and then I do like to buy a snowmobile and just like ride around the place like crazy that's fun I guess if you had like a lot of greenhouses that could keep you busy or if you were big into logging there's a lot of trees on this map we can do some logging I'm pretty good with a front loader handler kind of suck with that uh, log cutting tool but you know okay let's pick up a few more Oh wait, I want to see how this tractor handles this load. What have we got here? 90,000 liters. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, M6. Oh no, that's still fine, hey? Let's see. Yeah, we're fine. We've still got lots of power under the hood. Okay, we can pick up a few more. I just don't want it to be struggling. And we mustn't um, make the mistake of completing the contract while we are towing the straw on the Kubota because that Kubota is a contract tractor. Oh, 
Come on, little. Come on, little Holland. You got this. Okay, let's line up better. Good enough. Not perfect, but it'll do. Alright, how's that? Is that straight? Yeah, straight enough. I'm not going to put another load on top, so... I mean, another line on top, so that's fine. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just has to be on when it's the second layer. There you go. Oh, you got this. Good job. Can we get all the rest? I don't know. Oh, it's getting heavy. I think we're at the limit just about. Yeah, it's still okay. Oh, pulling a good 30 kilometers an hour. We're fine. And we don't even have to bring the trailer back. We can use the new Holland to deliver the harvest. Then we can cash in the contract. If it doesn't give us payout on the extra extra grain we can just um, work that out and add it ourselves and then we can return all of the equipment that we rented oh slam that down what is our goal to buy this first farm um, it was this one here 64 is 52,296 so we need another uh, let's call it 34,000 to get there so yeah I think maybe this contract and one more contract and then we'll have it which is really good going if you ask me Whew. what a mission <laughs> All right, back in the Kubota, and now we want to head on over to our little uh, mobile bail cell point. So, oh, oh no, I've put it down this long path. <laughs> I should have thought of that. It's okay though, it's not too bad, right? At least we're not trailing a header. Oh, it does have some pretty steep sections. You can do it, little Kubota. You are a powerful tractor. All right. Now with this guy, you just get close. It's got quite a wide pickup range. I've used the one for the uh, the wood. No, oh, maybe because there you go. Ah, there you go. Nice. Ten thousand six hundred sixty-nine euros on bales. That's freaking awesome. Okay, and we're gonna just turn that off. I'm going to use this little guy, the little trailer who could, I mean the little tractor who could, uh, I want 
to see now. This isn't a ball hitch, is it? No, so it's a little hook. So it should be able to hook up quite neatly to the weight. Yes, perfect. In fact, I couldn't have planned it better if I tried. We'll go and deliver this. And we must keep a really close eye on when that contract clicks over to done how much wheat is left because I would like to make sure we get paid for the extra wheat and I have a very strong feeling we're going to have to do that manually again oh I'm so sorry guys I'm not trying to drive this badly I think we should have a crash counter and farmer cop has a crash counter i think at this point it's officially time to have a crash counter it's gotten to the point <laughs> where i crash so often it's time to start counting what do you guys think tell me in the comments below if you'd like a crash counter i'll do it Oh, and I'm also thinking of doing a, um, okay, it's still at 99. Oh, wait, there you go. 93% transported. Uh, let's just keep an eye on this and then I'll tell you what I was thinking. There you go. Contract finished. 4,056 liters. All right, so let's write that down. 4,056 liters of wheat. And wheat is currently selling at nine hundred and twenty three. That is three thousand seven hundred and forty three euros in extra wheat income nice well done random gen okay so let's sell it let's see if that goes to us or not i don't think it will because it doesn't look like it's counting it as our income yeah okay and then harvesting completed and let's collect let's see yeah so it doesn't give you that money extra so what we'll do we'll add 3743 as the extra there you go 39,861 euros at the end of day two guys I think we're doing brilliantly that is also that is it for us for the end of our second day on Orkra Homfeld. So thank you so much guys. I had a wonderful time. I hope you did too. We were super productive today. And tomorrow we will see what other contracts we can do. Hopefully we'll have time to spread some fertilizer on our cornfield before it is ready for harvest. Um, but until then, remember, self-care is the most important care there is because you can't take care of others if you're not taking care of yourself. Um, have a wonderful day and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.